Hello folks, this is Mike Cayley 7. I am in, uh, I don't know where the hell I am. Petoskey. Petoskey, uh, Michigan. Petoskey, Michigan. And that is Lake Michigan. My first view of Lake Michigan. Isn't that cool? Temperature is like 58 degrees. And we have been riding all day, hundreds and hundreds of miles. I wonder if you can spot the bridge from here. Wow, oh, this is so, so epic. We've been on this trek since about 10 this morning. It is now 7.54 p.m. And we have probably another 45 minutes to go if not more. Oh, a little hippie. <laughs> wow, I like the, the way the signs are actually lighted. The street yeah. signs. That's kind of cool. I guess you can see them better in the, in the blizzardy winter. So we're going up to the Tunnel of Trees, which is supposed to be coming up soon. And I thought I would try to catch a little bit of that on the video for you folks. And then the Mackinac Bridge. At night. At night. Been a long time since I've seen the bridge lit up in person. Uh, Mancinos, interesting, all right. Nice little Bear River Bridge. Look at the little flowers they got up, that's kind of nice. This, this place has money. Hey folks, Mike Cayley7 here. Yeah. You know that already, you're watching the video, it's in the middle. Uh, I think we're getting to the Tunnel of Trees here. We're getting close. So I figured I'd record this part. I'm trying to decide if I want to listen to my GPS and turn right up here or just keep on this road. We'll figure it out. The Tunnel of Trees is 119. I trust you. It's now 8.07 p.m. My overall mileage on the bike since I bought it is 6,078. Of course, done... it could be the 119 turns off here. Gardner yeah. Street is 119. Oh, yeah, it might be. I turned off the camera a little bit too soon back there in Petoskey because all these beautiful houses and the beautiful lake scene, and I just, I screwed that up. Oh, well. I'll just explain or describe. It was beautiful. There you go. We've been riding since 10 a.m., so what's that, uh, 10 hours now? Yeah. Stopped and got ice cream, stopped in Hell, Michigan. Yep. You know, we haven't just been making our way up slowly up here. I mean, we had to go up, then back over, then we're back up. Yep. M19 closed, follow detour, what? Oh. What the hell? <sighs> <laughs> well, I can't be blamed for this one. Nope, you can't be blamed for this one. I was not expecting that. It's like, let's go to Kitty Hawk. See the parking yeah, lot. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> it closed. At 4 o'clock. It was beautiful. In the summer. Why would you close at 4 o'clock in the damn summer? This is kind of what you're looking at. Okay, this is kind the... Kind of domed over a little bit, and they get a little closer. Okay. Who knows how far down it is until it's closed. Maybe it's a little ways down yet. 
road closed ahead. Yeah, that's definitely closed. Uh, tunnel of nothing. Tunnel yes, of suckage. Of Is this the turn it wanted you to take? No. Uh, Maybe it's not closed that far down. Hopefully it'll bring you back to it. Road closed to through. I guess they gotta close it sometime to work on it. They should have known we were coming. Oh, well, as the bridge isn't closed. <laughs> <laughs> Close, come back next year. Oh! Speed radar enforced by who? Yeah. We'll see where this meanders out. Maybe we'll be okay. Yeah, maybe. We will try. Sorry for the darkness, folks, but it is 8.10. It is pretty here. Tunnel trees almost. <laughs> well, it's kind of nice to see your bike there. You know, it, it's it feels reassuring that the engine and the lights are just you know we're doing fine. I just thought you'd want to come here and see the high school. There you it's go. That, it's that way. Okay. Yep. Okay, then. <laughs> Let's go back. Time Get to go back to, back to, <laughs> to my house. See ya. Bye. Thanks for the good trip. At the Where end of the day, this is where you and I are both just kind of fumbling fools. We were talking earlier about how we just can't get words out now. And so we're just going to go boop, three. Oh, those are detours lead back to the left here. It's made it's a short one. Detour. Yeah. I do believe. I do believe. Then I should have turned back there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Let's go down this one instead. Okay. That's how accidents happen. Go driving into the lake, Kusploosh. Trip over. Oh. Yeah, nice little side street diversion. Detour. Turning right, turning right. I see the moon. Yep. Yep, right around it. Oh, I kind of right to the perfect spot. Oh, it worked out great. We were doing 82 miles an hour, 82 miles an hour up, um, what route was that we were on? The uh, 131. 131, because the speed limit was 75. Ooh, very pretty, very pretty. We were turning and burning. And now we're doing 40 and it feels like we're crawling. Yeah. Ah, uh, here we go. Now we're getting some trees. All right, here we go. Tunnel of Trees, baby. How's it going, everybody? You're probably seeing Mike's video, more of you, because nobody subscribes to me. <laughs> 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 no, but, uh, yeah, we're down in Twitaski, Michigan, uh, heading in the general direction of Harbor Springs, Michigan. Uh, the road was 119, scenic byway, Tunnel of Trees, right there is the sign. Oh, Cool. So we are on track to where we want to be. A little darker than we may have wished, but that's the uh, cards we were dealt, and that's the time we left, and all the other places we went. So fuck it. Yep. 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 We had Sherman's ice cream today in South Haven, Michigan. I took Mike to hell. 
because everybody's been telling him to go there for years. <laughs> I wanted to leave his ass there, but I didn't. Thank uh, you for that. Yes, you're welcome. Very welcome. And now we'll crash over, into you. Bang! Yeah, over to the left, you'll see Lake Michigan sparsely through the trees. Ooh. And this is the Tunnel of Trees. We're entering right now. Whoa. I know my Kaylee Seven's also doing a video right now, which I stole his thunder on. So No, no, that's fine. That's what you get for riding a gold point. Wow. I'm actually going to use oh, your no. footage in my video. <laughs> Look at that, huh? It looks really more spectacular during the uh, fall colors. Yeah. But we're on the time we're on and the time of the year we're here. So that's what you're seeing. And it's dark out anyways, but it's still cool how the trees just cover the road. Yeah, this is nice. Uh, there's also a small town up here. It might be Harbor Springs. I'm not sure how far away that is where I stopped last time. It's a really cool little town. You can get down by the water and take pictures of the docks and everything and some cool buildings there. Nice. I was up here a the year ago? before I bought my Triumph. Ah. Because we were talking about that when I bought it. So. Wow, this is Sorry, beautiful. No, yeah, it is gorgeous. When it's all fall colors, it's really amazing. I am glad that we're here. I've had nothing but an awesome time ever since I got on the bike. Absolutely awesome the entire time. Yeah, it's been a good trip. First day out for the actual trip. Uh, the other couple days you can kind of count as us getting put in position to leave for the trip. Uh, so we've yeah. all, we each have over a thousand or more miles in right now. Mike has a little bit more because he came from North Carolina. And uh, it's been great. So hopefully it'll be a safe and enjoyable trip. We're just going to take it and play it by ear. Yep. Not going to have ourselves any final destinations. I mean, maybe a hotel run so we know we have to be in that general area. But Yep. We got a hotel that. up in, um, what was it, St. Ignace? St. Ignace. Ignace. Saint Ignace for $69. Yeah. It's two queen beds, and uh, it has a, a pool, indoor pool, and a hot tub. I'm kind of curious. I wonder if we ought to look into just, we ought to talk about tonight. Maybe we should just get another night there so we can just drive places tomorrow. That's what I was thinking. We have places to leave our shit, you know? We are, we have the same, we're, we're like simpatico right now. Because, I mean, that's close enough where you can get to most of the stuff. You know, I think doing the Sault Ste. Marie and stuff is going to be the basically the day right there. Yep, yep. Canada and stuff. I don't think we get much more done than we can leave the next day and hit Bond Falls on the way through and a couple other places on the way to where we're going. I think that is that an excellent idea. So that sounds good. So we'll do that, I think. Nice thing about traveling during the middle of the, during the beginning of the week and through, hotels are going to obviously be cheaper at yep. this point. Yep. Uh, Friday, Saturdays are always more expensive. Everybody knows that. Yep. Hope you all enjoy coming along for the ride because we're going to have a lot of fun making it. I don't know if we'll do a whole bunch of videos up. I think we're just going to try to enjoy the vacation along with that. Yep. But uh, look forward to, uh, from both of us, you'll see uh, videos and images and stuff of the bridge at night. Yeah. Uh, I've never crossed it on a bike at night. I've crossed it in a vehicle, so I'm looking forward to that. It'll be Mike's first time across it. Yep. And being a state Ignis, which means we can go back across it at any time and then back over again. That's going to be epic, so stay there's tuned a, for that. Yeah. There's some uh, good places to eat on the uh, Mackinac City side, which is the uh, lower peninsula side that I've ate at before. One of them was a buffet. I imagine it's still there. Breakfast buffet. Oh, God, so good. Oh, yay. Uh, I believe that's still there, hopefully. Has been all these other years. That's good. You can tell there's no lines on this road other than the white ones along the side. It's just a narrow road, so you got to really watch it. Yep. And it looks like they've might have repaved it since I was here last, because last time it was a lot bumpier than this. Oh, that's great. I've been very fortunate with this trip, because all the roads that we're on are great. Get on your own side of the road, buddy. Jesus Christ. Wow. Dick. Sorry. Anyways. <laughs> uh, hey, it wouldn't yeah, be a moose right. video without some language. He was right on our side of the road. Yes, he was. What's more rooms he need? Apparently he thinks he drives a giant flatbed really deceiving at night too because you can't really tell where they're at yeah especially with any yellow lines yeah there's no real marking this is very very nice it, it, for some reason it reminds me a little bit of our trip through the gettysburg park a little bit yeah let's see well i'm i've got you here let me do my Somebody asked me, so I keep doing this. 42.5 miles per gallon on this 
run today and uh, I don't know how many miles we've done total this day but it's got to be over 400 it's got to be I'll do my little check on the Google timeline and see this thing's all over the goddamn place and uh, anybody wondering about the seat on the Goldwing I have the stock seat on this uh, DCT tour and uh, I have the special shorts that I bought that have padding in them and I'm fine I mean it might my butt isn't feeling great but it's not so bad that I think I can't hack it I'm perfectly right. fine for multiple days of like 400 miles a day as I've proven because we've done almost that what the last three days so yeah we've done a lot of miles I've got the heated seat on right now, and I've got my heated grips on. I've got on my held gloves. I'm, I'm wearing the warm side. Bump. Bump. That wasn't much of a shit. What, you weren't mentioning? No. Uh, let's see. Let me check the temperature here. Uh -huh. 61 degrees. Ooh, dirt right there. Ooh. That's a pucker. That's pretty... That is very pretty. My map's so dark I can't even tell what's out there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> nice old school building there. Five Mile Creek Road. All right, have I noticed any differences in the driving culture? Let's see. No, not really. Uh, people here seem to be driving, you know, pretty decently so far. I haven't seen a whole lot of stupidity. And, um... The quality of the roads I already mentioned is very nice. Uh, the friendliness of the people, they're not as friendly as in the south, but they're not unfriendly either. They're just kind of, you know, regular people. You'll get the friendliness of the south in the UP. Yeah. We're just, you know, I mean, they call us trolls, so. <laughs> We're under the bridge. But I have, I have not really had a negative experience yet. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate your comments. I like sharing the journey with you. And I really like watching these videos later on. To relive the experience in the moment and yeah, I have me too. I do that. just a wonderful time Th this whole thing has been epic I'm feeling good you know I was kind of worried about if, if I could physically handle this multiple day thing but so far I'm feeling all right wow this is nice I like this kicking through here in the in the twilight time hopefully no deer will jump out in front of us as I do 50 oh, miles an hour. One right there. oh shit wow there's more than one where are they at yep don't well, the odds you don't mentioned hit. that that's and freaky boom. wow <laughs> hopefully no deer da -ding, da -ding, da -ding. damn huh. wow wow that's bright oh sorry that's why I didn't do it to you earlier. I've uh, only scraped once on my left and once on my right on my new titanium pucks. Not really keen on scraping anyway. Not too much. I think I'd have my bright lights on so we could see though, wouldn't you? Yeah, that would be smart. Thank you. <laughs> Tunnel. Wow, this is a tunnel. This is a tunnel of trees. Pray for no black bear. Oh, God. That would be the time you'd see him. <laughs> Boy, it's dark in here. Yes, it is, and I'm loving it.
20 mile an hour curve ahead, apparently. Yep. Not a whole lot of twisties, which is fine. These are, this is nice and twisty. Got a man with a sign up here. Is there actually anybody up here? <laughs> if there is, that'd be really freaky. This time of the night. Like, man, Look you guys out! are working <laughs> hard. Oh, there's the water again. Keep our down a little bit, see depending on what kind of work they're doing. Uh, oh, that is so gorgeous. Wow. Look at that. Wow. All right, hang on, slow down, slow down. I want to, I want to just, if there's, if we get another straight, like a, this kind of view again, up ahead, yeah. I want to pull over for a sec. All right. Just so I can take it in, because that is just gorgeous. There's a little town down here you can pull off and get out the things, oh. too. Oh, okay, we'll just I get believe. out of the town. Okay. There was last time, I thought. I hope they didn't move it. No, I mean, I stopped there and went down to the, you can see the water from the, you know, the marina. All right, cool. God, that's beautiful. I don't know if we got to come back through here to get out or not. Hmm, interesting. I would think we'd be able to get there from Harbor Spring somehow. Yep. Wow. So, folks, if you uh, are of the mind to come to northern Michigan and see the tunnel of trees and the things that I've seen, rest assured that you will enjoy yourself because this is a really great place. Good food, good people, good roads. Thumbs Decent up. Roads. They're getting better. Yeah, yeah. They've been working on a lot of them now, so they're working on getting our roads back together. We're kicking through here at 40 miles an hour. I like how the light of your motorcycle is kind of lighting up the trees as we go through. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting out of the trees now. A little more light in the sky helps. There you go. Car. Car. I think I'm actually speeding through. I think it's only 40, isn't it? There you go. Oh, there we go. Wow. <laughs> and gone. <laughs> Man, that is just gorgeous. I imagine the weather here in the wintertime is pretty nasty right off the water like that. I would think. See what they call the tunnel trees? No, I, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> We're being down here at night. Yeah, we get to see a whole different side of the place. At least they got white lines down. That does help. Yeah, that really helps. It'd be a hell of a thing to see a white line. You'd be like, oh, fuck, we're in the road. <laughs> It'd be like um, West Virginia at night. Yeah. Spooky, spooky. <laughs> Ooh, 10 miles an hour. 10 mile an hour curve. Makes it better for your eyes to adjust. Yes, it does. Holy crap. Wow, that's like a West Virginia one. That was nice. Where are we going? Here it is. Every once in a while, the lights at a sign blinds me. I'm about to figure out where I'm at again. Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. I bet the video is going to be awesome on this. You put the GoPros on. Yeah, I got the GoPro and I've got uh, the Cena. The Cena does a really good job at night, actually, I think. Yeah. For what it is. Yep. Oh, dear. Dear. Oh, jeez. Who? Alrighty. Little buck. Oh, boy. I'll slow her down a little bit. Just in case. Yeah. Not going fast, there shouldn't be any trouble stopping for them unless they burn right on into you. Yeah. I 
was hard to see because his ass was to me. <laughs> At least you got your high beams on. That gives you a better chance. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'm probably going down through that a little fast. Better slow her down. Watch out on the right. Five. I saw a reflection. Oh, that's, that's a pole. Okay. I thought I saw eyeballs. That's Bigfoot. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Payne's Ride says something about the dog man. I don't know what that is. Yeah. I haven't seen anything unusual. Uh, no, nothing, nothing. Everybody here's looked pretty normal. A couple of gas station attendants look like it could have been a Sasquatch at some point. Maybe in their lineage, you know, genetically. I'm falling asleep. Oh, boy. You're holding on too hard. You gotta, you gotta let go a bit. Relax. Why don't you usually ride my right hand? That's the one that's going to sleep. Ah. I ride my left most of the time, you notice. Yeah, usually your left thumb is the one you're complaining about. 